palm, so no need for cops, Keefy D's a chomper. You say we take it down. Grab your blocks when you see these palms, so roll some shots when you see these palms. <laughs> we bad boy killers, Keefy D killers, still busting on gay ass puppies. Keefy D had never get arrested, nor do I want to see him get arrested. You know, me and Keefy D played on the same pop water football team. In an unexpected turn of events, lapped officials have confirmed that Dwayne Keefe D, Davis' brutal assault and stabbing are under investigation. Marion Shug Knight, former Death Row Records CEO, may have coordinated the attack in retaliation for Tupac Shakur's 1996 death. Eyewitnesses said Piru Blood's gang no associates of Shug Knight attacked Keefe D outside a downtown Los Angeles nightclub late Friday night. He was transported to the hospital with several stab wounds and is serious. Numerous conspiracy theories have surrounded Tupac Shakur and B's deaths for decades. In G, numerous industry insiders and gang members are blamed. Keith D admitted to the drive by shooting that killed Tupac, although he claimed self-defense. The lap won't say much, but a spokeswoman said, we're investigating all leads. Bet you need Keith D getting locked up for Tupac murder? And I said, he need to be right in handcuffs with me for Tupac for Biggie murder, because I know he had his hands in that shit. That's what, that's what I was about to get back to him. Retaliatory violence is unacceptable. Currently doing 28 years for a separate manslaughter conviction, Suge Knight has not responded on the claims. The attorney strongly rejects his client's participation, saying, These are unfounded charges aimed at sensationalizing a terrible occurrence. This is unrelated to Mr. Knight. Hip-hop has expressed shock and anguish at the occurrence. Enough of this slaughter, tweeted Ice Cube. Too many died, including Pac and Biggie. Let's stop adding names. Peace and love, socks, and violence. Knight may serve even longer in jail if convicted of the assault. Fans and artists pray for Keith D in peace and neighborhoods still grieving. Hip-hop fans are holding their breath as Dwayne Keith D. Davis. After Marion Suge Knight's violent assault, a key person in Tupac Shakur's murder mystery remains in severe care. According to reports, Davis is barely surviving with terrible wounds. According to sources, the ambush injuries are worse than previously thought. Several deep stabs wounded Keefe. Some have caused serious inside damage, a Cedar sinai Medical Center source said. The next 48 hours matter. Family members have been spotted leaving the hospital with worried looks. Outside the hospital, fans and artists have lit candles, prayed, and played music in Ahmed. Outside the hospital, musician Kendrick Lamar called for togetherness. Our community must unite. This cycle of violence must cease. The Keefe incident should wake you up. Many musicians and industry insiders have sent Keefe D and his family their best wishes on social media. J. Cole tweeted Keefe D prayers. Although physical, our community has scarred. Time to recover, Rahana said on Instagram, praying for Keefe D and his family. We must unite to end violence, praying for Keefe D. The lap has increased hospital security to prevent future violence or revenge. We take every care. To protect patients, employees, and visitors, said a hospital representative. After too much violence and tragedy, the hip-hop community wants peace, understanding, and togetherness as they pray for Keith D.A.'s recovery. Hip-hop is divided as Dwayne Keith D. Davis struggles for his life in Cedars sinai Medical Center. One chorus prays for Keith D. recovery, denouncing violence. Due to Keith D.'s disclosures about Tupac Shakur's murder, some believe the assault was justified. Azalea Banks tweeted a controversial opinion. Don't forget our purpose. Keith D. has dirty hands. Some call it karma. Pac deserves justice. Offset, in an Instagram post, Migos noted that street justice is unique. No playing the game and then getting irritated when it comes back. Before being removed, the post received hundreds of replies and shares. However, many music business leaders disagree. Beyonce said on her website, violence breeds violence. Not this manner. We must unite for peace, healing, and communal future. Despite his earlier conflicts with Suge Knight, Dr. Drew opposed retaliation. We've done this before. It ends badly. I pray for Keith D. and our neighborhood. Break this loop, Reverend Al Sharpton said. We need unity now more than ever and would fly to Los Angeles to resolve arguments. Violence. Violence. Our community is divided by the division. As the world awaits Keith D.'s health, hip-hop's violence, retaliation, and justice discussions continue. The notorious Marion Sujay Knight delivered a surprising statement from jail as hip-hop tensions rise after the horrific assault on Dwayne Keith D. Davis. His lawyer delivered the statement outside the California State Prison, applauding Keefe D's efforts and fueling the street justice discussion in the sector. The statement started, I've always said streets don't forget. D. Keefe has criticized and bragged about his role in Tupac's killing for years, and he's lived too long without repercussion. Many find Suge Knight's public admiration of the mob Pyru Bloods and their claimed role in Keefe D's assault unsettling, but consistent with his purported links to the gang. I appreciate my most faithful brothers. 
The message said, Piru Bloods ensured street justice for my brother Tupac Shakur. Legal ramifications of Knight's comments are unknown. Legal experts say it might complicate his detention. Publicly celebrating a violent crime, particularly one tied to gang activities, is unwise, said attorney Lydia Turner. This might affect parole and prompt additional inquiry. Knight's brazenness infuriates hip-hop fans. Twitter user Jay-Z wrote, Not this manner. We should improve our community, not depress it. Activists want more discussions on gang culture in the music business. According to music writer Jamila King, this event has shown hip-hop's gang's extensive effect, but structural changes are needed. Keith D's health remains in the spotlight, despite the contentious comments. His status is unknown. Despite this, support and peace calls remain. Marion Sue Knight's follow-up speech deepened the hip-hop community's split and raised major questions about his prison intention. An unnamed insider told the media, if Keith D, if we meet in jail, I'll kill him with these hands. I fear God alone. I believe God and my brother Tupac will support me in my vengeance against the cowardly Keith D. Sugar Knight and Keefy D are now heavily guarded. An internal inquiry by the Department of Corrections will examine how the statement was leaked from jail and if Knight may threaten Keefy D or other prisoners. Criminal defense attorney Ellen Montgomery remarked, threatening someone's life in prison is a serious crime. Knight's words may result in lengthy jail term or solitary imprisonment for his own and others' protection. Hip-hop has overwhelmingly criticized it. This ain't the movie singer Cardi B lamented. Real people are at risk. Stop the drama and threats. This cycle of hatred and retaliation must end, said Nicki Minaj. Internal divisions are ripping our community apart. Pastors and community groups in Los Angeles are planning a peace in hip-hop demonstration to address industry violence and its social effects. Reverend Mark Thompson, a major organizer, said we need unity, love, and understanding now more than ever. The hip-hop community may promote change, we must prioritize peace above retribution. Violence is in the limelight as the music industry struggles with recent occurrences. Keith D responded defiantly to Suge Knight as hip-hop hostilities rise. Keith D made his goals clear from his hospital bed, obviously debilitated by his injuries. Keith D, his voice strong, said Suge, can't scare me with threats. He'll get an unprecedented jail gang war. It will resemble the worst world war IAU. Blood will flow between prison cells. The Department of Corrections responded quickly, saying they take all threats seriously and would take every effort to protect prison safety. Experts say both sides' remarks might lead to solitary imprisonment to avert violence. Already divided hip-hop faces a bigger problem. Many artists and business executives worry about jail violence. Chance the Rapper tweeted, Stop it. We should be role models, not warlords. Please value peace and togetherness. Community leaders and activists want Suge Knight and Keith D to recant their words and stop threatening and violence. Many worry about how these conflicts may affect impressionable youngsters in the community. The tale shows that hip-hop, once a platform for expression and change, is at a turning point. It must navigate vendettas and bloodshed while maintaining its authenticity.